Hey guys, welcome back to Digimon Story Lost Evolution. Last time, we were supposed to finish a quest in an area that had a, well, very weird name, but then I accidentally went over to the Pixel Desert and started messing around there. And I came across a little bit of a weird uh, conundrum. So, a lot of the Digimon I've been working on, like Sulfemon and Mermaidmon, uh, so the evolutions I want to get for them. I have learned, at least according to game facts, that both of those evolutions I want are post uh, story. So I don't think I'll be getting them, so I'm going to have to rearrange a little bit of what my team is going to be. I was never really set on what my team would be, but interesting to learn that I've been getting these spirits, but I can't fucking use them because the evolutions they lead to our post game, at least according to other things, because I walked around the Pixel Desert, there's supposed to be that Digimon there, but it's not there at all. So, then I read other game facts things, and they said that they're post game. So, as far as I know, we can't get those, which is really sad, but, you know, we shall push on. Either way, we need to head off to uh, the area that we're supposed to go to. Now we're in Shadow Hell. What a fucking amazing name. Anyway, I need to look for uh, Salomon here. Talk to Shadowman, Shadowmon. Talk to Salomon in Shadow Hell again. Just so strange. Each Digimon in this area currently holds a courage piece. Please go and gather up three of those pieces, Jazz. I'll also do my best to get a piece. I'll fight with all my might. Once we've gathered the pieces, let's meet back up at the Digibase. It's a promise. Let's both give it our all. The thing is, I already, uh, in between episodes when I was messing around, uh, I had already gotten the uh, other Digi Egg of Courage and uh, literally put it in the evolution tree. So you literally don't need to do this anymore, but I guess because they're stupid, we need to go ahead and fight like four different Digimon, I guess. I don't know if it said it was going to fight with all its might, but it's literally just uh, a rookie. And probably the things around here are going to be a whole lot stronger than that. So it, it doesn't make much sense though. Like I need to get the thing that proves I have courage. Okay, I'm gonna go ask my friend to go get it for me. I think that's like the complete opposite of courage, but okay then. Anyway, we need to defeat Cyberdramon, uh, Metal Greymon, and Volcanomon. So I guess uh, that one will defeat like the other, the one that's not labeled. Anyway, Shadow Hell is literally just the uh, volcano biome. I don't know why it's called Shadow Hell. Also, where Gururumon is here. I wonder, can I get the, uh, can I get Minervamon here? I'm gonna take a bet and say no. No, Minervamon is dropped somewhere else. Quite sad. Shadow, Shadow where Gururumon does not drop that. Very sadness, very sadness. I don't care. Please stop calling me. <laughs> Fucking the Digi Farm is goddamn stalking me and I don't like that. Alright, so from what I remember, the volcano biomes always had like a very maze-like occurrence. It's not like mazes in the teleporter mazes, but just... Walking around this area makes absolutely no sense and always throws me off. Alright, let's see. I should hit these two. Because uh, Lamore finally got Forbidden Temptation, which means that I can, well, knock out uh, Gigadramon and Volcamon in this turn, I think. At least if I'm lucky enough. If so I am lucky enough, it blows up a flower and everybody fucking dies. I really wonder what the burst modes, like, signature move is going to be. Like, it's been a while since I've seen Data Squad, so I don't know what it's actually called. <laughs> also, the only way you can get uh, burst mode for any of the people that need burst mode is you have to fight them, but they're in higher level areas. So we're just going to have to wait for a bit on that. Anyway, what does Metal Greymon got to say? You wish to obtain this piece I possess? Then you'll have to beat me. Well, that'll be pretty easy. <laughs> wait, what? I've got, like, you know, all these guys. And he's like, wait, wait. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be fighting a fucking badass. And then they just die. He used a double edge and fucking killed Garjamon. <laughs> oh, man. You're you're not going to be living much longer, chicken boy. No, that actually works. Because, you know, dinosaurs uh, evol evolved into chickens. And then... Uh, Fucking dragons are pretty much just dinosaurs. Dragons are dinosaurs. I learned that back in uh, geometry. <laughs> I learned I learned that chickens evolved dinosaurs in geometry. I'm not incorrect, but I am incorrect. 
Alright, Lexi should be ready to evolve Blossom on. You have done well. Here, take this piece, as promised. Or the Courage Piece C. This is but a mere fragment. You will need to gather more. I will need to gather my dick in order to use this. Alright, so that means Lexi can finally evolve into Blossomon. Sadly, we don't have Lotusmon yet, but we'll get that at some point. We'll get it at some point. Now you just have to turn into this weird flower monster thing that is kind of scary. Kind of scary! But I used it during uh, Survive, because I was forced to. That was the only one for the, the girl. I forget, her I forget her name. Started with an S. Saki. Yeah, got it right. I got it right! I know people's names! Look at that sprite! Oh boy. And then because we don't have Lotusmon, we can't turn into it. So we just kind of have to jump out on that one and say fuck it for now. We'll get it later. It's in an area that we just can't get to right now, so we have to move on. Oh god, my nose. You ever had that where your nose just fucking wants to annihilate you? I have that every day. I have it every day. You're dead. You're dead. Not big surprise. Not big surprise. Alright. Forbidden temptation, go. Ah, oh, god, my ears. Yeah, it's like... It really sucks that all the, uh... Ah, oh, those Spirit Digimon are all stuck past post-game. Also, we got a thousand experience just from fighting that those couple of enemies. Damn. I mean, I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain at all, Power Cutter. Uh, it's not... Actually, it's kind of better than... This one, I'll take it. And then what can she get? Rose Spear. Uh, it's a singular move. Hmm. Might be better than Pollen Spray. I just kept it in case I don't have enough, like, MP. But that might be a good move for just attacking, like, a dedicated one. Also, there was one of those weird mimics over there. Oh, there's Lady Devimon. That means we can actually get it that now. I still haven't, like, cleaned off all of the uh, plates that I've gotten. I just didn't want to go back and work on it. Because really, uh, one thing is that I think I've already shown it off before, but you can, like, uh, buy better uh, equipment to clean off digi plates. And I've already got something called the Giga Pick, which is something that kind of, like, is like a hammer onto the crystals that should make it easier, but actually tends to break the things a little bit more. But you can also just get better equipment, like a better cleaner, better putty, so you can just make it so that, like, cleaning is so much easier, but you have to kind of, you know, <laughs> they're expensive. They're like 10,000 bits. And I'm at 5,000 bits kind of trying to work my way up to get that much money, but it's just, it seems like a, it's a high amount of money. Also, I guess I got Lady Devimon, so that's pretty cool. Ashley will actually be able to Digivolve again, so getting close, getting close to Lilithmon. At some point, we'll have it. You see, the best part is just getting, like, three uh, ultimates in a row. Like, that mixture of two Volcamon, uh, a Phantomon, uh, just gave me 1,300 experience. So, i definitely say this area is, like, the best for grinding. Like, I know some Digimon have that ability where they get more experience. Like, they have a trait for that. But, like, still, that's, like, a ton of experience. I don't know why it gave me such a... so much. I guess Volcamon is just a very... High experience yielding Digimon. So I've got 6,000. So I've got 40,000 more bits to go. So it's like grinding here would probably be the best idea. I have more of a want to clean to get a better uh, cleaner than get a better uh, set of putty. Because I think the, uh, the cleaner is just going to be a whole lot better. So that's probably what I'm going to buy with that amount of money. It's just going to take a while to grind out. If I just don't buy anything else... Like, I haven't been buying much. The only thing I've really been buying is, like, uh... What's it called? Gate discs. But I haven't been buying anything else. So it's like, saving up that money is, uh... It's, uh, it's a toughie. You see, he gives 5,000 experience. So you really want to try and go after the Volcamon. They give the most experience. Wow, you get Poison Mist. Now I can mist your ass. That's no good. That's no good. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we can get, like, a lot of these guys, like, final forms. Just so that we can, like, you know, buff. We must become buff. See, that one's green. Why are some of the other ones blue? I don't know. Alright. Uh, we might be able to get Skull Greymon here and actually make uh, Byler something, you know, worthwhile. But I really don't want to use Byler because he's just, like, he's bad Tyler. I want to use regular Tyler. 
who will then become like evil Tyler. But you know, Tyler's always evil in the end. He's he's been evil since he was born, which I I can appreciate in the guy. I can appreciate evilness. It's like I'm, I'm the 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 League of Supervillains, which includes Tyler, me, and Zephrom. Zephrom's definitely the world's greatest villain. Oh, there's Cyber Jermon. On the road again. Looking for demons. <laughs> Looking for demons. Alright, I need... I also need to look for the key. Because we found the open door. But if we want to try and teleport here without having to go through, like, the exit of Limit Valley to get all the way to the very end of uh, the jungle. To then go down into the cave. To fuck around with the cave. That makes no sense to try and get out of there. Because... You can either go to the Pixel Desert, or you can get to Shadow Hell, which is a great name. I don't... Who the fuck decided to translate it that way? Whoever whoever decided that that would be a good idea, I, I like you. I like you. Buy a whole family of, of, of drugstores. Now she's got the same skill that uh, Lamore's got, so that will be good. I mean, having the ability to drain out, like, health is pretty fucking OP. Oh, shit, I didn't even read it. Eh. Whatever, he probably just said something dumb, like, you're you're stupid, you're gonna lose, haha, -ha. and then I'm like, weep, so it really doesn't matter what he says. I just completely forgot that, like, oh, we're actually trying to read this. Either way, he died in a singular hit. I wonder if uh, Metal Grey one was supposed to be the hard one. <laughs> Whatever, they're all dead now. <laughs> That's just hilarious. I just skipped through him, like, yeah, 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 just die. I just walk up and blow him in the fucking face, just like, well, you're dead. <laughs> Got some experience out of that. I got a lot of money. Thanks for the money. You're strong, worthy of holding the proof of courage. Here's my piece, as promised. I got B. B. Once you've collected all four pieces, they'll form the proof of courage. Good luck. Good fuck, more like it. More battles, more like it. This is probably the best area to go grinding, at least at this point in the game. They seem to give just like a fuck ton of money. I lack money. I like money. I think everybody likes money, except for, I can't really think of people. Even if people say like, oh, I don't need money, <laughs> they they like money. I think everybody enjoys money. At least here in America, since we're such a fucking materialistic society. And you know what, I'm completely fine with that. I buy millions of Digimon cards for absolutely no reason other than I like how they look. I like holding them. <laughs> like, I'm fine with being materialistic. But at least I'd say that I'm fucking, like, you know, being truthful about it. Like... I know I'm materialistic, and I'm fine with it, because it's just like, I I've learned to accept that. I like having items. It may be pretty damn greedy, but it's like, you gotta face your shadow if you're going to accept yourself. That's not your uh, Discord, that's me. <laughs> uh, it's just like, uh, it's like announcements from uh, Digital Shinkai Online, which I haven't done a video for in quite some time, just because they haven't asked me to. So it's like, I only really do videos for them if they actually ask me to, because without it, it's like, I don't know what they want me to target to, like, make a video on. Alright, I got bits. That's not a key. But it will help me towards my way to cash. I just need a fuck ton of money. I guess you could take, like, a million quests and do it that way. This literally led me to nothing. It was a dead end. Fucking great. A dead end. Alright, what can I... I guess I'll just hit these two with it. I'll hit you with a strick, with a shrick. All right, trying to kill these two. Oh my nose. But yeah, I'm. I just accept who I am. You just gotta accept who you are, even even the dark parts. But yeah, it's fucking. It's just so much bits to gain. There's no amazing place to gain bits. I think other than this area, it seems like this is the best area to do so. Spiral flower. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, restoring HP and healing poison, it's restoring its status and HP. It seems like that might be better than healing spring. Yeah, Lexi's just fucking... Like, taking anybody here seems to level them up so much. I really like Lost Evolution. I just think the Digiplate system... It could have been done a little bit better. Like, it's definitely, like, fake-ass uh, Fossil Fighters, if you ever played Fossil Fighters. But, like, there's some good things about it, but then there's some bad things. Just... I think it's the lack of uh, precision in the way that you clean them. Like, you're not able to, like, precisely do it. Breaking them hurts you a lot. 
And I think just getting more after you've already got them really doesn't make much sense. These items should turn into, like, key items, and then just you don't get any extra. You only get one plate, and then you can try, try, try again. Like, if you break it, then you have to go out and get it again. But, like, if you've already got it, you shouldn't be able to get more, because it, it, I feel like it just wastes my time. Because it's like, now I have a million of these, and, like... I don't know which one it is until I clean it. And now my inventory is so full of them, I have absolutely yo no use for all this shit. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. Let's see, is that the key? I need the key to as as Azcan. Azcan. I don't know what the fuck that is. My name is Azcan. Okay, Azcan, what can you do? I can as. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, it's not. The Digiplay system isn't bad, but I think it could have been fleshed out to make it either more a little bit complicated or make it more streamlined. Like, I know the auto repair exists, but it's like only if you've already, like, you know, fixed it. And it's like, I don't know, man. I think it would be made a lot easier if it was just you get one plate per Digimon and, like, you don't, ha you don't get extras. So that when you're grinding out certain ones, you can always know you're getting something new if you see it in your drops makes so it makes it so like you don't keep getting those question mark ones that you've already gotten and just don't know if you're getting new ones because they're all question marks still so it's like i don't know all right break their bones i will bulldoze your asshole that is strange i think i said that the same exact joke with cooper when he was bulldozing something there's nothing over here okay grand grand dead See, I need to find that last Digimon it's requiring me, but I can't. I think we're over where that Mimic is, so we can try and knock that out and get, like, a ton of experience. I need a lot of experience if I'm going to save the world. Woohoo! Oh, boy, my back. Whoo! <sighs> I've been recording a lot today. Since I don't have to stream, and I literally have nothing else to do, I wanted to get a lot of uh, Lost Evolution done. Because people are already starting to finish the game. Like, I've, Kaiser in the uh, Discord server, this isn't, like, uh, anything against him. I'm not mad with him about this. But he sent, like, the uh, ending screen of, like, the game. And, like, I can see that people are, like, going quick at this. So if I want to make sure I don't get spoiled in any way by a random video online, I need to, like, get on this shit. I need to be fucking fast as fuck, boy. I need to be able to beat the game on my terms so that it'll be all recorded and be up ready to be uploaded at any time and be fine. Also, John is almost ready to become a Mega, which is pretty rad. Anyway, just throw ourselves right into a mission. Alright, ooh, it's it's the Tyranimon family right here. We've got Metal Tyranimon, Black Tyranimon, Master Tyranimon, Tyranimon, and Mame Tyranimon. <laughs> I don't know why the whole family showed up, but I appreciate you guys showing up to the family dinner. It's been a while since we had the whole family together. <laughs> oh damn, they're not they're not completely weak, so at least I'm slowing them down. We're just so powerful at this point, I think we could probably just knock them out pretty damn easily. With Cooper being able to target every single Digimon on the field, I think they're a little bit fucked. Oh see, Tyranimon and Mame Tyranimon are getting fucked up. He has become stunned. Alright, Cooper, it's time for you to go boom. Magna Explosion. If only Magnamon X was in the game. That would make it so that I could evolve Magnamon again and be fine with it. Also, Metal Tyranimon is just fucking took so much damage. The guy who's been, like, taking the least is Master Tyranimon. I understand, because he's the master. And he got his ass kicked by me in World 3. But he's pissed. Still can't- they can't do more than one damage. I'm too much of a G, they can't take me down. Alright, let's finish off these two. Alright, he's finished off. Now we just focus all of our attack on this guy. He survived our attacks, but he can't do a single damage to at least, well, John and Cooper. Those are two characters that haven't really met each other, not even in real life. Just because uh, my friends from high school haven't come up to see my place so that they could actually meet my friends from college. So, uh, that that is two groups of people that might not ever really meet each other, but it's, it's an interesting thing to have them fight on the same side, but they've never actually met each other. Interesting. And then Lamore. I guess, well, she's a friend from college, so... I guess that counts, too, but she's not part of, like, my main friend group, which is just my three idiots I record Digimon with every now and again. 
whenever I get the chance. It's been a while since we've done another World 4 episode, but, you know, we haven't been around. And it's hard to get everybody together just to come around and do some good old Digimanning, so it's like, takes a bit. Oh, damn, 3,000 bits and 3,000 experience. All right, Cooper is almost at his level max. John has got, I think, one more level before he can do it. Carter needs, I think, one more level, and Lexi needs, well, the plate. I got the Surefire Sword. I wonder if anybody can use the Surefire Sword. See, John's already got a pretty cool weapon. lamore has got a pretty cool weapon. Uh, I didn't know Lexi's attack had jumped up that high. Lexi actually has the highest base attack of anybody in the group. That is just strange. I didn't think about that. Can you use the Surefire Sword? You can use the Beast Claws or the Dragon Claws, but you can't use the Surefire Sword. Who can use that, though? Hmm. Maybe Cooper can use it? Or maybe Carter? I'm not sure. Since Cooper doesn't have an actual, like, set thing, he can use the Surefire Sword. So it adds plus 130 attack, plus 50% crit, and plus 30% accuracy. So, pretty good set of shit. So yeah. It's strange that Lexi has the most, the highest base attack, but she's not the highest because she doesn't have a uh, good thing I gave her. Actually, I've never... Has anybody been able to put on the feather bow I was able to find? Let's see. Can she even put on any, like, weapons? No, she can only put on that. The rapid fire bow... So, the feather... The rapid fire bow is what uh, Titties has got on. And then the feather bow is it's just something else. Who, can anybody use that? Maybe I would have to give that to my Sylphamon, but like I said, I'm probably not going to use her, at least until post-game. If I... how I don't know how much post-game there is. There is not a ton of post-game. I mean, there was in Dusk and Dawn. There wasn't a ton in DS. Because Dusk and Dawn, you could go out and, like, do the Terra 13 or whatever. And then you could also become a legendary tamer if you had the Wi-Fi things, which, if you ever want to see that be done, uh, I did a playthrough of it by using an action replay code that allowed me to activate the quest. It took me a little bit to figure out how to do it, but I, I did it in the end. Kind of a strange one, I tell you. Alright, oh, there's Volcano Mon, and he's lagging the game right as he appears. His sprite is weird. I think it looks different than what it did in Dawn and Dusk. I'm super strong, you know. Let's bet a piece on our match. I literally did not start with a single piece, so whatever, man. <laughs> You're going straight to hell, I may even say. Why does it say D1 on your chest? That's just strange, man. Also, you've been stunned. Oh, boy. These bosses. They tried their best, but they're all dead. They're all fucking dead. I wonder who Salomon beat up. Like, fucking nobody? I don't know. Will she just... Well, by the time we see her again, will she be like a uh, Lynxmon and just be like, Oh, I didn't even need these to become cool. Thanks for helping, though. And just fucks off. It's like, okay, then. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna have to, like, find the, uh, the Digi Plate 4 Giga Seedramon and the Warp so that at least Magnamon can become Giga Seedramon and then D-Digivolve right back down so that, like... He won't be stuck as a Giga Seedramon, because that just doesn't fit him. Awesome fight! I experienced no- I expected no less from you! Here you go! Courage of peace! Wow, I got the deep peace! You'll need four courage pieces to make the proof of courage, got it? Well, fucking, it doesn't tell me anything. Just hand over them to Salomon in the Yggdrasil room. You know, I don't know why it's called the Yggdrasil room when Yggdrasil hasn't even been talked about. Unless maybe he's the villain of the game. He usually is the villain in many ways. All right, we can actually get Imperial German uh, Dragon Mode. All right, Cooper, it's time for you to go even... Not Cooper, Carter. It's time for you to go even further behind. I always mix up their names, but they're very... I mean, they're similar in some ways, but different in many. Now you are a giant bug dragon monster thing. Partially a bug. It's barely a bug anymore. Really, it started losing its bug stuff right after Pyeel Dramon, so it's barely bug dinosaur anymore. Now it's just full dragon. Alright. What's going to take it to go all the way to fighter mode? Uh, 52 and attack 230. That's not that bad at all. So, uh, I don't know about paladin mode. I'm... You need... I think you need an Omnimon to have it on your team, and I don't want an Omnimon, so... I think you'll be fine with fighter mode. 
and I run right into an occurrence. That is just great. We've been spending this entire thing just trying to get all this shit done. I could just use the gate disc to get home, but I want to open the digiport while I'm still here. This is just an amazing place to grind. I would stay here for hours if I could, but really, I don't think we need it all that much. I guess it would be a good idea to bring in team members like Tyler and uh, me to go ahead and make sure that they get a bit uh, stronger as well. I think John is actually able to become Megidramon now. Let's see, Carter can now use Power Dark. Gain speed. Gay Luigi? I want to get rid of Gay Luigi. Alright, so I think John can actually become his Mega. One of his. Let's see. Or maybe it requires one more level, and I'm just being thrown off. Nope, I can now become Megidramon. Megidramon looks like the raddest Digimon ever, and his existence literally destroys the digital world. So. I think that fits John quite well. <laughs> he becomes weird nose motherfucker. He turns from big nose motherfucker. This, di this giant dragon demon. Megitramon always looked awesome. He is pretty damn cool. And then he can evolve one more time into uh, this. Well, he needs a max level of 62. He doesn't. Damn. So, from there, he might have to go back a bit, because he needs a max level of 62, which means he's going to have to degenerate at some point. I could just keep him at, uh, fucking, what's it called? At Megidramon? But I think it would be a bit better if he actually got something better. What was, he was using the toy shield, wasn't he? What was, was he just using the veteran guard? Either way, the goblin chainmail. Actually adds more attack onto your thing. And that's pretty damn good. Can anybody else kind of use that? Can Lamore use the Goblin Chainmail? Because that would actually help... Oh. I guess it's not for, uh... Women! <laughs> very, very sexist, I would say. Alright, can we put it on the most sexist man I ever knew? Fake sexist man. <laughs> oh, boy. That would actually put his defense down. What's he got on? Oh, he's got an attack ring. That's actually helping him out a bit more, I think. Uh, I think for now I'll just keep it to myself. Alright, so now I've got, like, at least a full set of Mega Digimon, because I've got an Imperial Dramon also. Not going to use Imperial Dramon, but it's cool to have it. I'm not going to use it right now, at least. <laughs> Man, it's awesome to see Mickey Dramon. The demon of the digital world. His whole existence literally tears it apart. Like, him existing just destroys the digital world, which is fucking metal as hell. I wonder what kinds of cool skills he's going to get by the end. Still, he doesn't have any new skills, but just give him a couple fights here and he's going to get, like, up to level 20 already. So now he has the highest base uh, attack of everybody now. Alright. You will be quite strong by game's end. By world's end. You remember that one? Or, uh, well, not that one. You remember uh, Pirates, of the Car Carib Pirates of the Caribbean at world's end? That one, I always felt, was the best one, because it was like the culmination, the ending of the series, but a lot of people said that that one sucked. I liked it. I like, I pretty much like the entire original trilogy. Like, even the middle one, I think, is pretty good. Uh, the only ones I don't think are good are, like, the newer ones, like, 4, or the 5, the one, I think the 5 is the one without Johnny Depp. And then, if I think they're planning on making a new one, but they can't get Johnny Depp back, because he's like, fuck you guys. Which is completely understandable, so it's like, pff, there probably will never be another good Pirates of the Caribbean ever again, but, you know. <laughs> Even when Johnny Depp was still here, it still wasn't going to be that amazing. I think it's just mostly the writers didn't know, don't know what to do with Pirates of the Caribbean, because they've pretty much done everything. So it's like, not quite sure. Then again, I haven't seen the fifth one, I just know it doesn't have Johnny Depp in it. I think it doesn't, I'm not sure. Either way, I know 4 did, but I just, that one just wasn't good. So yeah, Cooper's either got to digivolve or degenerate in order to get that max up. Because without it, he's just going to be stuck at level 50 for the rest of the game. Which is fine, but I might just need to swap him out for a different Digimon instead. Uh, okay. Because others can go a lot higher and, well, don't require anything extra, so... Mm. I really wish there was just a way to go, like, even higher with... Uh, with Magnamon, but I, I I understand why they don't. Because that would be kind of like 
a little bit too OP for something to go to level 99 right when you get it. And you can get it pretty early in the game. I got it pretty early in the game. So there's no such thing as X antibodies in this, which is really sucky. Like, there are X antibody Digimon, but there's no X antibody versions. So it's like, eh. There's no War Greymon X or Magnamon X or fucking Omnimon X. So it's like, we just have to suck it. This was still in the era where the X Digimon were kind of just forgotten about, shoved over to the side, and just hope nobody else remembered them. Because it was like, oh, we find that cringy. It's like when you're a kid and you turn into a teenager and you think all this edgy stuff is awesome. Then you turn into an adult. Like a young adult, and you go like, "Oh, I was, I was so cringe back then. I really hate how I was." And then you turn to an adult, and you're like, "You know what? I still like that stuff, even if it's like cringy. I still like it." Welcome back. Look, look, I managed to get a piece too. Now we'll just put the pieces that you collected, and there, it's done. The proof of courage. Now everything should go well, so long as I have this. Hmm? What will go well? Th th that's a secret. But if you but if things do go well, it's all thanks to you, Jazz. Thank you. Here's your reward. I got 500. I got a bug plate for Gatomon. I have already had that for so long. And a Zulong B, a Zulongmon B, which is pretty good. Uh 11,000 bits and Tamer points. I think 11,000 bits is the best thing I got out of that. I'm at 8, eight 85,000. So I still have a bit more to fucking go until I can become well, even stronger. I guess I'm going to pick up another quest, even though... Ooh, you can feel that lag. Even though there's, like, not a ton of time left in the episode, we need to pick up another one. Let's see. Because I think we have one last of the... Nope, we have two more. We've got Rivaler Friend and Desert Apple Discovery Operation. What the fuck is that? What's the rewards? A full restore, 5,000 bits. Uh, what is the rewards for this one? Daggers... I think the money is probably... And I'm going to have to do both, but I'm going to have to do one first. One of these is easier, one of these is harder. But then again, all this shit is easy. I don't know if I should throw Cooper into the, uh... Into the thing now. Just with the knowledge that he can't level up anymore, and I'm going to have to wait for him to become stronger. So I think I might have to throw him into the garbage for a little bit and take out somebody different, like, I don't know, Tyler? Let me see who can come out and, you know, wreck some ass. Alright. Let me see. Ass. Literally, wreck ass. Steven doesn't have a Mega yet. Uh, Kaze doesn't... Well, I can't clean off what I need it to do. Uh, Tyler's, like, the only one I would see that needs a little bit more work right now. But he literally cannot become Mega. I think, I think Cooper will just stay in there like how uh, Titties stays in there as, like, backup. I might just switch off, like, uh, somebody in front. Like, I don't know. Move Carter up to where Cooper is. Mm, maybe. <laughs> I go, mm, maybe. All right, let's talk to uh, Ogremon or whoever just at the very end. All right. Hey, Jazz, hear me out. I'm starving. I heard there's a si there's eating. I heard that eating a single golden apple from Pixel Desert will totally fill you up. I really, really want to eat one. Go one, go and get one for me. You can ask Tentomon for the details. Alright then. Good thing I already have a teleporter set there. It's not very close to the entrance of the area. But, you know, fuck it. Let's see. Here are the details from Tentomon in Pixel Desert. At least I don't have to try and take the long way around to, like, talk to a singular Digimon. Just so I can, like, get... Just so I can start off the, qu the quests. The quiz? Yes. I like taking quiz. Actually, give me a Digimon quiz, and I could probably at least do a, a passable job. Maybe not the best job in the world, but I could do a passable job. You see, I think this teleporter is definitely for the Amazon, but I've just never actually, you know, looked into it. And I can just kind of get into the entrance, like, super easy, because of Tamer Town. Alright, back to the Pixel Desert. I actually, I think Shadow Hell actually gives you more experience than the Pixel Desert. And I've literally got nothing else to gain here. Actually, I haven't gone this direction. Hmm. Could this be where ancient... I don't know. It could be, but I was told literally by Game Facts. I was... <laughs> One of the Game Facts says what I'm looking for is in Pixel Devil. And then other, the other Game Facts is telling me that it's, like, a post-game thing. So if it is post-game, I'm fucked. But I've never actually walked this direction, I think. So if I can start finding stronger Digimon out here, that would be a good idea. Got another Agumon Warp. That's just to get to, uh... 
to Susanomon, I believe. Let's see. Huh? Have I been here before? Yeah, I think I have. This is the area with the big cheese block that I can't get up. Because I literally see the cheese block over there. But I don't think I can actually... I, you have to go all the way around to get to it. I still think it might be... I think that's where it'll be. But, like, that cheese block is where she'll be. But, like, we can't actually get there. Because we have to wait for her to spawn. Which is great. Great that we have to throw out some of the coolest Digimon until, like, post-game. And I, I think I might do post-game, but I'm just not quite sure. See, it's blocked off. Anyway, next time on Digimon Story Lost Evolution, we're going to go out and find the Golden Apple. So I guess we're finding the Apple of Eden. We're literally pulling ourselves an Assassin's Creed in the desert. But whatever. So I'll see you guys next time.